Hi there, I'm Sarah with Doll Bombs and today we're going to learn how to paint with mica. So today we've got a couple of bath bombs that I have made up ahead of time and I'm going to be using this nocturnal, this kind of black color from Nature Soap. It's a really fun mica, I like it, it's got a bit of a shimmer effect to it. And what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be putting some of that into my pot here and you can get some of these pots at Michael's or any craft store for relatively cheap. Uh, I usually use about two micro scoops, and those are really, really small. You can get those at most of your uh, soap making uh, places. Uh, Nature Soap has them, so does Aztec, and a lot of other places. And I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Make sure that your rubbing alcohol is anywhere between 91 and 99 percent. You don't want anything less than that because it will activate your bath bomb, and you really don't want to do that. So we've got that going on there and I'm going to mix that up and we're going to start putting these on our already dried made bath bombs. These bath bombs have been dried for about two days and so they're totally ready to go ahead and start painting on. There is no real um, artistic uh, value that you, you can have to ha hold here. Um, if you're wanting more straight lines, you know, definitely start practicing on some of your bath bombs. It maybe didn't turn out quite as well, but other than that, I kind of like with this one, this one's already got the indention, so I don't have to be super perfect with the, what, how I paint my bath bombs. Now, when you're working with mica painting, remember that alcohol does evaporate very quickly, so what you'll want to do is work a little bit fast so that you're not losing out on any of the mica and that it's um, going on to the bath bombs in relatively short order. Um, this is actually really, really easy. You can use a lot of color in a very small amount of time. So, and like this one, I've already gotten one of these eyes pretty much done. And we've only been a couple of seconds into the video here. so. So take your, you know, take a little bit of time to kind of make sure you put your brush where you want to put your brush, but otherwise, you know, work as fast as you can so that you can use as much color without wasting a lot of product. There's nothing worse than wasting a ton of uh, product just because you weren't working fast enough there. Otherwise, you know, practice, practice, practice. Um, if you've got bath bombs again that just didn't make the cut, this didn't look as good as you wanted them to, these are perfect bath bombs to go ahead and just practice a little bit of mica painting on. You know, you want to learn with straight lines or swirls or dots or whatnot. This, those bombs are going to be good for that. So, um, with this mold, uh, it was a lot easier because it's indented. So, I already kind of know where I'm going to be painting at. So, I don't have to spend a lot of time um, with a lot of guesswork here. I'm just kind of filling in spots. Um, make sure that your bath bombs, whenever you're making them, especially if you're not using colorant like I did with these bath bombs, they were white. I went ahead and I added polysorbate 80 to my bath bomb mixture. And the reason for that is, is that if you do not add polysorbate 80 to your bath bomb and you're going to add mica to it, it's going to stick to the sides of your bathtub. It's going to be a little bit harder to get off. Now, Mica is actually really easy to get off most surfaces, so, you know, that's not a huge deal. But because this is black, I wanted to make sure that we were able to get that cleaned off without too many issues there. So, again, make sure that you're using your polysorbate 80 in your bath bomb mix, even if it is white, if you're using, like, a dark color here. So, I'm going to go ahead and fix a couple of things here. Just adding a couple of dots. Now, polysorbate 80 is a wonderful product that, you know, you're going to be using in a lot of your um, bath bombs if you decide to make a lot of bath bombs here. So, we're kind of going to move on and we're going to paint some more and get these masks done. And then we're going to get started on to the other portions here real soon. Yeah, there's not a lot of um, tension when it comes to doing bath bombs. And if you just want to mica paint for practice, and you know, it's very soothing, very relaxing. I definitely enjoy doing um, mica painting just when I don't have anything to do. And it kind of adds a little glitz and glamour to some of the bath bombs that I've made in the past. Um, they're a lot of fun. Um, I have a silver type one that I've made like silver swirls on top of like a purple bath bomb. And that's really fun for the customer too because those whimsies are, are very much appreciated. 
So here we're going to do a little bit of a splatter effect. And I'm using a Fruit Punch Red Mica Powder from Crafter's Choice. Uh, Crafter's Choice is a really amazing company, by the way. So definitely check out their stuff as well. Um, <clears throat> when you're choosing micas, make sure that um, you're reading the ingredients on there. These are titanium dioxide base uh, micas. So these are perfectly safe for the skin. Um, and the only reason why I say that is, is that... Um, if you get a mica that has an ultramarine in it, it is very possible that uh, your bath bomb will turn into a rotten egg. You definitely don't want your bath bomb to turn into a rotten egg just because of the color and it will, after it dries, it will, it will smell very rotten egg-ish. So these are just, these are perfectly skin safe and these are ready to go. So you, I'm doing the same thing like I did with the black. I'm using a couple of micro scoops and then I'm going to uh, stir it together with my alcohol. And then what I'm doing is, is the splatter method. And this splatter method, I actually am going to paint my finger. You'll see here in just a moment. Uh, and then I'm just going to flick the bath bombs with the uh, red colorant. Um, and you, as you can see, I've done this before, so um, there's no rhyme or reason to the splatter effect. Uh, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. And with these Halloween bath bombs, I kind of wanted to have it that bloody, kind of fun, horror kind of thing going on. So this is what we're doing today. So there's my finger, and we're flicking. And it doesn't take a whole lot, and it just takes a little bit. And I'm just going to continue to just paint my finger and just do that yeah there we go and that's a lot of fun <laughs> so as you keep going here that it's gonna you know do it any way that you feel comfortable with um isn't that cool so if you have any comments please leave a comment at the below uh we're getting toward the end of our video here i really appreciate that you watched the video today and if you have any questions or anything please just leave a comment down below Hit like and share, you know, subscribe if you want to. I would absolutely love to see you back here. There's no secrets when it comes to bath bombs, and I will tell you everything that I know. So, with that said, here's some of those bath bombs. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day today. And, um, yeah, continue to do great bath bomb things and bath and body work fun stuff. This isn't just for major corporations. This is for you to have fun with, too. And this is one of the fun ways to um, bring the family together as well. I know me and my daughter have fun with it. Have a great day, y'all.